Hi, Sue here from Mystic Matters. Thank you for joining me. And here's the June uh, tarot reading, June 2020. Um, I have already picked the cards out. I, I douse. I douse them with my pendulum, my crystal, so it takes a bit of time, so we can get straight into the cards. All right, we're starting off the month of June with rewards for efforts you've made. So it's about being, if you've done good stuff, then you will get the rewards for it, even if it's been a long time coming. Um, but again, if you haven't really made much effort, you can't get the rewards for things you haven't done. But um, we're starting off with a feeling of reward. But the first part of the month, we start here, it's like obstacles. So it's not going to start off particularly smoothly. And we're going to need to really focus on the goal, where we want to get to. Because if we start focusing on the, on the obstacles, they become the goal. Because the other part of... The first part of the month, so I, I take it in thirds, first third of the month is domestic stuff, day-to-day um, -day life being a bit difficult, a battle with material reality. So it could, this could be shortage of money or generally things, arguments within the household, things breaking down, that kind of thing. So we're starting off the month of June. Um, it's, it's not major stuff, but it's niggly stuff that can get us down if we're not careful. But um, yeah, a few obstacles and a few things not going particularly smoothly. But by, by the time the middle of the month comes, there's success, people patting you on the back and saying, well done. So your rewards might have started to come to become obvious because you're getting congratulations there. However, you do need to be very tactful and diplomatic and not not try and force force things you know a bit like going around the back door a bit because if you make loud noises and you bang on doors people are going to kind of be resistant uh, where you can I think the old saying you can get more with honey than you can with vinegar it's that it's that kind of concept by the time the end of the month comes You'll be really wanting some time to yourself, some quiet time to listen to what your inner voice is telling you. And also, you won't want to listen to other people's opinions. And it's, a, it, it's better if you don't, because we, it does us good to check in with ourselves um, and listen to what we feel that we need to do without other people's opinions um, muddying the water. Because there's new new feeling of new energy of the imagination. You're ready to go in pursuit of a vision. You haven't got a clue where it's taking you, but there's a real kind of energy here. So when we're starting off the month of June, a bit in the doldrums, we're kind of ramping up the energy by the end of the month. And we've got here the Wheel of Fortunes going to be sending opportunities your way, ones that you really might not have been looking for at all. Now, even if they look a bit, if they don't, if, if they don't appear in the way you expect them, or they come, or they're not quite the opportunities that you're looking for, don't dismiss them out of hand. Give them a chance because it could turn into something really good. But your luck, for the, your luck for the month is resolving inner conflicts, but also making sure that you're absolutely clear when you're talking to people what your intentions are or what you mean. Again, with diplomacy intact, because otherwise, um, for instance, if a couple of your friends are having an argument, if you say nothing, both of them might think, oh, yeah, they, they, oh, she agrees with me or he agrees with me. They haven't said anything. And then you get caught and you get stuck because uh, it doesn't go away. So any situation that crops up come to be to do with the domestic stuff that's happening at the beginning of the month, the day-to-day -day stuff, it's important that you're you're clear, you're transparent about you, how you feel about things. Um, if people are having arguments and there's nothing to do with you, 
be transparent. Say, I don't want to know. It's not my business. I don't want to know. But the other one, because if you don't, then it, it could end up a bit tricky and you could it could end of end of friendship if you're not careful so your luck is to be open honest and transparent this month through a few slightly rocky times starting off but it does improve as the month comes comes to a close uh, anyway i hope that's helped and um maybe see you next month okay bye for now thanks very much for joining me